Hey, what's up car fam? Today is definitely a super special day. <laughs> right now, I'm in a 2021 Acura TLX Type S. First impressions, I've only literally been driving this car like a couple minutes. Wow, it's super comfortable. I've been in a lot of German cars lately and this is actually a really refreshing feel. One thing I noticed right away, and sorry for any head movement um, in this video, it's literally a GoPro on the top of my head, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, but anyway, first thing I did notice is the hood lines are super visible while you're driving. So that's something I'm not used to in the cars that I've been driving. Usually you're um, looking over them quite a bit, but in this case, it's the total opposite. So. Um, I could definitely clearly see like the hood lines, which is kind of good for when you're driving that way You don't you know hit anything and stuff like that, but It's definitely a different experience. This car is pretty long and because you have the hood in your front view then obviously it kind of you know makes it Feel a little bit different <laughs> like you're driving a longer car. But anyway first impressions just um, man, it makes me appreciate uh, Japanese engineering. It's totally different. The philosophy on just comfort and different things like that. This is a very daily friendly um, driver's car. So if you're looking for uh, something that's more comfortable, you're kind of, let's say, over the more sporty, aggressive, stiffer suspension point in your life and you're like you know what I'm kind of over it but I still love to have a good drive I think this is one that should definitely be on your list um, it is pretty spacious in the back so um, that part is cool as long as the car is considering the length it still isn't like the largest space in the back but it's definitely bigger than other things kind of in this segment pretty comfortable for your passengers and things like that if you're cross shopping this in like a Lexus IS let's say 300 350 um, or 500 even then this is definitely going to be way more comfortable for you and your passengers this is really nice and the exhaust note the way it's tuned it has this like more high pitch uh kind of growl and pop when it upshifts um it's really really cool it's a very unique experience um considering all the other german cars where things are a little bit lately more um aggressive and loud and things like that and that's really cool this is definitely more on like the chill side for the person that's in the middle where let's say they've come from just like a regular tlx or they've been in more like luxury cars and now they're like i need to start getting something a little bit more sporty for my drive because things are getting too floaty i think that's kind of where this sits um, i haven't driven the bmw m340i yet um, but i'm assuming that one's definitely probably not going to be as soft as this but anyway i'm really really liking this package it's very comfortable <laughs> i know this car isn't necessarily um aimed at being that but it just makes me think of the old tl type s and what that was and still is to this day is the sporty capability as far as driving handling and things like that if i had to just kind of sum it up from just my initial first impressions this is the one when you're targeting more of a comfortable drive i'm gonna take it on a couple more corners in a little bit because i do want to get a sense of the handling um, it feels very direct um, the steering feel right now i have it in sport plus um, it's not too light it's not too stiff it's kind of in the middle of uh, kind of where cars are right now i think it could be a little bit tighter personally but i think it's definitely far from being too light which is nice but yeah i really like it steering wheel feels good this okay if i had to add another thought to it this car in a couple of years everyone's gonna be like i should have got it when it first came out now you're getting used ones but the demo that's getting these right now i think are not going to put too many miles on them i think you're going to be able to get some really great stills on these um, this is going to be one of those cars because the last gen tl uh, tl type s 
that one right now is like in high demand and has been the past couple years. I was even personally thinking about getting one like a 07, 08 TL Type S. I still love that car. I drove it and it was great and this kind of carries on from that same philosophy, philosophy and like goals of like who this car is aimed at we're targeting handling um i haven't really dipped into the performance yet but i'm sure it's pretty good but i believe this car is pretty heavy like comparable to some suvs it's over four thousand pounds i believe so all that weight kind of can take away from the performance for sure um, but I'm sure some people are starting to experiment with tuning with these and things like that but I would not sleep on this car and at first I kind of did not like oh, they did so good with the exhaust note like this it how come the Civic Type R doesn't sound as refined as this like this sounds way more <laughs> it sounds better to me than the type r the type r is more throaty and things like that but this sounds more intentional and like refined that one to me i think that's as big as flaw as the sound but anyway that could easily be fixed in the aftermarket um okay the shifts are not that quick it's decent um it has some cool little things that it'll do as you're driving like let's say when it upshifts when you're slowing down and things like that it has some cool little tuning programming going on there but the shifts can definitely be much sharper in today's age because you have the zf transmission you have dual clutches anything that doesn't really get on that level feels dated and slow so i think in a few years that's going to be the thing that people are going to notice where it's like hey the transit transmission should have been a little bit sharper and quicker not that it needs to be like a porsche pdk or anything like that but in today's age the transmission is so important and driving enthusiasts understand how that plays such a big role in just the overall driving experience. I don't care how much horsepower you have and things like that. If the shifts are slow, it just takes away from the experience. And so um, that's something I think that they could do better. But as a package, one thing I was saying earlier is I thought this here would be a little more dated feeling, but now that I'm in here with it, like kind of tinted windows, all that good stuff, it feels fine. This is still gonna be the first thing to age this car. And then this center, um, speedometer area you have like the analog plus the digital in the middle I think it's fine the gauges could have been done a little bit differently but I think overall as a package I don't mind that at all and if I had to compromise something I think I would you know pick that over just overall driving dynamics and character this car is really really cool i would not sleep on it i would do an extended test drive on one of these though i know that's kind of hard but just to make sure but i don't think you would be disappointed in like the daily driver factor i think what would potentially be an issue is if um it's not just aggressive enough for you maybe you're looking for something a little bit more snappy and sporty this could potentially disappoint but as an overall package this reminds me of what let's say audi does where it's more daily driver friendly than like bmws um, but it's not as sharp and snappy in certain cars that's kind of what this reminds me of but a notch under audi bmw gives you that raw you know experience and things like that um audi's kind of like in the middle and this i would put like under audi so if you've driven any of those cars you kind of have an idea of what i'm talking about this definitely feels if i had to put it into another context if you put more money into let's say like these last generation honda accords and you beefed up the tuning and engine and overall you know transmission and handling that's what this reminds me of makes sense it's an acura slash honda product but i'm really really impressed it's so comfortable like i really really like it i would 
definitely consider this car. I don't know if it would be everyone's flavor as far as the design with the interior. I love the outside, like as you can see from the shots, especially in this color, like this car is really, really nice. And the exhaust note is very, very unique. It doesn't sound like anything else that I've personally heard in the cars that I've been kind of cross shopping this with. Oh, it's a more higher pitch. Oh, yeah, they did it right. I hope the, I'm actually gonna stop here because I wanna see what this is like off the line too. We're on going uphill, so don't judge it too hard. But um, I'm very curious what they're gonna do with the Acura Integra Type S. If it's a baby version of this with a little bit more uh, younger personality, I think that's probably gonna be a little bit more dynamically friendly. I think that one might be a little bit more dynamically friendly than this one. Anyway, uh, just kinda, you know, went hard off of a red light. And yeah, the transmission would be the weakest link. There's so many cars that are like more affordable than this that have much sharper transmissions where the shifts are really quick, more sporty. And I'm in Sport Plus. If I was Acura on the next versions, I would make this transmission work a little bit harder for sure to be able to be more snappy and responsive. Like if this had a, a ZF transmission, oh my goodness, it'd be a game changer. Cause the power, it's, it's decent. It didn't blow me away. I think I've been more impressed with other cars, to be honest. But as a package, like if you're thinking about this and you're not tracking, doing anything like that, of course, like this is really cool as a daily. You get the really nice exhaust note, which is always going to be satisfying. And then, yeah, the steering wheel, I really, really love it. It feels really good. The paddle shifters are really nice. I've been wanting to drive this car for a really long time, so I'm glad it worked out today. This was really last minute, so I'm just kind of doing a casual POV drive. Overall, really, really like it. In my head, when I drive certain cars, I'm like, what would my wife think of this car? There's a couple things I think she would not like. And I'm only adding this because sometimes as car enthusiasts, we get so excited and we care about what's under the hood, the way it handles, and then you have to kind of think about the other side of it. It's like, okay, what would other people not like? Maybe your spouse and stuff like that. So this here, man, if it was a touch screen and closer, that would have been cool for sure. That's like super tucked in and then you control it from here and all that good stuff. Um, so this would probably, probably be something that most people would complain about, but you get used to it like anything else. The piano black, I think everyone in the world would prefer to have like a different material there um, love the ambient lighting the stitching super nice the material up here is really cool uh, this section here on the steering wheel overall is pretty nice so the bottom of the steering wheel where it says type s that's pretty nice um, they could have used a more premium plastic because then there's this like material over the Type S that can get kind of dirty and then it kind of just looks a little funny and cheap. Um, it should have been used a little bit differently because you have the black behind the Type S and stuff like that. Anyway, these are just like subtle little things where it's like you pay this much for a car um, and you start to pay attention to more of that stuff. I know I haven't tested the sound system, but the ELS is definitely really, really up there with some of the like best sounding audio in a car. That's something Acura has always done a good, done a good job with for sure, audio. They've always had really good stuff. So I know the speakers are great. Um, what else? Cup holders, actually decent. I wish they were a little bit deeper there, but transmissions under here kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, that probably could have been better, but at least the size is decent. It's in a place where it's comfortable and it's good for them, good for you as the driver. I think the placement's cool. I like this little hand rest thingy here, pretty nice. This mirror is really high quality. I haven't tested the 
what do you call it, the uh, reverse camera yet. <laughs> I'm assuming it's probably just like the other Honda products, kind of in the middle. A lot of car companies don't have great reverse cameras. Like they just all look pretty cheap for the most part, except for a few brands. But yeah, I really, really like this car. I'm very impressed. This I bet on like a canyon road and things like that, I think that's when I would be able to experience it more. But initial impressions, I would definitely consider one of these for the comfort factor. So this or like a S4, if you're like, I want something in the middle that's sporty, but not too sporty. And then not bouncing around like certain BMWs where it's just crazy stiff. Yeah, I just wish the transmission was more like snappy. Like that, it still could be comfortable. It wouldn't mess up the experience, but these, um, I forgot what kind of transmission's in here, I forgot. But anyway, it's just not the greatest, it's the weakest link. And then 10 years from now, that's where you're gonna be like, dang. Compared to certain German cars and other dual clutches out there. Like, yeah, it's, this, it's sad that they didn't add keep the uh, dual clutch from the ILX like even if the Integra had that oh man that would have been super cool but it is what it is because that car was a really fun little sophisticated Civic Si but it is what it is I'm super excited about the Integra Type S though let me know in the comments what do you think um, do you think it's gonna be um, overpriced do you think it's going to be a huge letdown are you thinking about getting one it's supposed to come out this summer i'm really excited i still feel like the car is going to be a little kind of big depending on the colors and stuff but i'm excited for them to have the rear sections with the updated diffuser um, the triple exhaust system in the back i think it's gonna definitely have that oomph that we all want so We'll see, but I'm excited for that one. I think that one's gonna be more exciting to drive than this one. It's gonna be lighter, still has a good amount of horsepower. If it's 300 and, let's say 305, I'm just assuming they can still get 315 out of that. I don't see why they can't. But even if they don't, anything over 300 power, 300 horsepower in a car that's relatively light is gonna feel really quick, so. Those are some of my initial thoughts. If you haven't thought about getting this car and you're kinda in that section, kinda like I talked about, of like this is what you're looking for in a car, comfort, still good handling, decent exhaust sound, relatively good power, this one I would not sleep on. But just make sure you're comfortable with the interior and then, you know, all of that good stuff. Cause this is gonna hold its value. I'm assuming relatively well, this is selling pretty much for the same price that it did at MSRP. This one actually only has like 700-ish miles on it. So I'm actually go up one more time. This one only has a little over 700 miles. So I'll put the information for this one in the description. So if you're thinking about getting a car, you know, wanna check this one out and have some questions, definitely contact Sunny or anyone else on the team at Elk Grove Acura here in Northern California. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see next. Catch you in the next video.